In this basic tutorial, I want to share how to get Evo Things Studio up and running from scratch. I've already downloaded the workbench to my computer, and I double click it to start it up. Our developer's mobile app is called Evo Things Viewer and can be found on the public app stores. In the first screen, the Connect tab, you join the client app with the workbench. A unique code is generated which you need to punch in to your smartphone. After your connection confirmation on the phone, you'll be ready to run some examples. We'll switch to the examples tab and we're going to run the hello world example. Go ahead and press run to the left of the hello world heading to see it running. Next to the run button, there's another button labeled code which opens a file browser on your computer showing you where the source code for the app can be found. Open up the index.html file of a selected project in your favorite browser. Here I'm looking at the Hello World example. And let's say we change the heading from Hello World to Hello You. Press Save and see the change reflect immediately on one or more connected phones. Let's run another project. One that's using the accelerometer sensor. Just press run at the project entry and see how native events are sent to control the web view. In this simple example, the XY position of a sprite is controlled, allowing it to float around on the screen. There's another tab where you can store your own projects. Just drag and drop the main HTML file of a project to add it. We hope you'll find Evo Things Studio useful and that it will increase your productivity and make development faster and more fun. Find many more useful examples at evothings.com.